What's going on YouTube? Technical Nerd 91 here, coming to you from my MacBook Pro on this beautiful Thursday, May 24th, 2012. It's a really nice day out and I thought I'd make a quick and short video review of iBoost Up. Somebody emailed me to do a review of it and since I have a MacBook Pro, I decided to try it out, download it, etc. First off, I can tell you that the program navigation on how to get around and use this program is very quick, seamlessly e easy, and like what great to use. I like the program. Um, I find it does a lot of good for my system, so I decided to keep it. Um, actually, I decided to buy a full copy, which is only ten dollars from the App Store. So go ahead and get yours if you want to try it out. Go and download the demo. But I'm going to run you through a few of the well, almost all of the features with built into the program. So here, you know, you just have your status option of your system processor. So I'm running a MacBook Pro, 2.3 gigahertz processor, four cores, um, four gigs of RAM, uh, 320 gig hard drive, and there's basically these five options are the biggest options. It's all bundled into one, so there's a lot more simplicity to this program, but it does just as good as um, System Mechanic or um, Total, there's some other one, Total um, PC Cleaning or something, I don't know. There's a couple of them out in the market for the PC, but this is the best one you can find for the Mac. Um, Clean My Mac is similar, but I think this one works better and it's cheaper. And it's bought from an actual source from Apple, not from a third party website which I like um, but yeah if you have an Apple account you can go ahead and just purchase this anyway sorry for rambling on I'll get in, on into the few of the features in this program so first we have under clean we have four categories cleaning optimization security system so under cleaning quick clean is just general quick clean your system um, I just did one a little while ago so it cleans everything from emptying trash to Safari cookie cleaner Crash Report Center basically does all your um, your diagnostics of your system and what needs to be repaired. Um, so yeah, you just hit Start Scan. It would scan everything, and it does clean out about a hundred megs every time I scan, which is standard stuff. You have an unused file option, old and unused. You can actually se select what you want from where in the, on the hard drive replace or um, clean out that section of the hard drive we'll scan find all the old and unused files clean it out move the files do whatever you want with them you have a cookies cleaner um, now the quick clean will get rid of all your cookies um, this just shows you exactly how much cookies you have in each web browser I only use Safari so I've, right now I've got 40 cookies you have a duplicate file and folder inspector um, basically what it does is it finds all your duplicate files which comes in handy because I had probably three of every song stored on my hard drive I had three copies of so that's a lot of extra files using extra space but um, this cleans it right out um, you have an app shrinker so it'll take your apps and it'll shrink them down to whatever absolute necessary like minimum size it can be scanned down to or shrunken down to. You have a discount. This basically does the same thing as most of the other software programs out there in terms of um, verifying, checking, and repairing your hard disk. Um, with mechanical hard drives this is probably a wise move to do about once a year. You don't really have to worry, especially with uh, Macintosh hard drives because most people back them up with Time Machine well you should anyways but this is not really one that I do on a frequent um, basis it's just something I kind of do like once a year and I haven't even used it yet so I can't really um, tell you exactly how it works anyways moving on memory booster this will actually basically boost defragment boost up your memory um, basically squeeze out as much memory that's used up 
um, basically redundant memory. It'll squeeze it out and let you have. Um, it'll recover about five, six hundred megabytes at a time. That's how how good this one is. It's one of the better um, memory booster defragmenter portions of a program that I've used in, in out of all the programs I've used. Network settings. Um, yeah, it just basically lets you edit your network settings. Lets you monitor your firewall status. Shred files. You can even shred using a 7-pass random mode. But that is slower. APR ca uh, cache. Basically, this um, catches computer hackers. Um, if they're trying to get out, if they're on your network trying to get onto your computer, that's what that's for. And it automatically scans, so there's no need to go into it and manually scan. Um, it'll come up if there is anything. Your just your wireless security monitor. Your app on installer works like um, add or remove programs in Windows XP, uh, programs and features of Windows Vista and Seven. Same thing. File type associations. Crashes, startup items, and check my apps. That's really it. Um, great program. Uh, feel free to try it out. Um, it's ten dollars off the app store, so it's all comes from a legit source. So I would say go try it out today. Um, buy it if you have a credit card attached to your Apple account. You can just buy it right off the the app store, the Mac app store. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. It's been my short but sweet review on iBoost Up. For all other software updates or software reviews, please uh, email me or personally message me on YouTube, and I'd be glad to help out with anything I can. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.